Paradox Rift is here, and strangely enough for this channel, it's been out for quite a while. But because of the playability of some of the cards in this set, we have spent most of our time building decks and playing them on TCG Live. So today, it's back to basics as we crack into the Paradox Rift Roaring Moon ETB. And hopefully, today, we can change our usual ETB look, and, fingers crossed, we can pull some of those special illustration cards. So there is a look at the front of the box, obviously standard ETB, but what we have got from this set is one of those double ETB releases. So we have already opened one of these, we've opened the Iron Valiant ETB, and you can have a little look there at the, I really like the colour combination of that to be honest, the pink and green works really well together. I quite like the colour combination of this as well actually, with Roaring Moon front and centre. So what we're going to do is crack into this as we would standard. We're in, we're in. <laughs> and hopefully, as you know, if you're a subscriber to the channel, we usually have absolutely terrible luck with ETBs. Sarah had decent luck, which usually means we will go along the same route and do absolutely terribly, but we never know. We might change that look and hopefully pull something decent because we haven't we haven't done terribly well so far with the cards we were open. But obviously, as we always do with the ETB, we get one of these player's guides which the big part of this player's guide it does talk you through the big cards in this set but the big part about this player's guide is the checklist at the back here so if you wanted to if you're building a binder this is probably the best way to go obviously we will start to build a binder but we are waiting on that special edition paradox rift vault x binder which we'll have a little bit of a talk about later on because it is absolutely stunning. Some of you, if you've been a long-term subscriber to the channel, you'll know that we do love Paradox Rift Binders and we've got quite a few of them in the collection. We've got all of them except Obsidian Flames because that went out of stock within about three minutes of it <laughs> going live. So we can have a look there, all the special illustration cards, but we're not gonna look at it too much because we want whatever is in this box to be a surprise there's the front, Rory Moon there on the front, and these are fantastic. I've said this before on the channel, but because of the size and the depth of these, these are fantastic to st store cards in. So if you've got a lot of bulk, you can use these to store that in. And we have lots and lots of packs there. I think there's nine now. Yeah, we got nine, nine Paradox Rift packs there. So we'll put those over to one side. We're going to already start to get in a bit of a mess. We're gonna put that there and hope that it doesn't fall over because obviously we get lots and lots of stuff in here we're going to pull that out we're going to move that nice just black box there in fact we're going to move those round we're going to change it there we go there we go we know what we're doing then we can no we can't no we can't we'll put it there that looks nice <laughs> that looks pretty it's on screen we do get dividers in these boxes one of the big big things about these boxes are the cool sort of promo bits and pieces that you get so we've got those dividers there and just for comparison what we've got as well is the dividers from the iron valiant etb so you can see there we've got both of them they are quite different i really like both of them i do i think i slightly prefer the iron valiant ones and i don't really know why i just like that really like that green and pink color combination a nice big chunk of energy cards which we're going to put over to one side code card for the etb so that will give you the sleeves all of those sorts of bits and pieces we've got the dice there damage counter dice and the flip coin dice and your poison damage markers which we're not going to look at too much because they're exactly the same but what we have got are the sleeves here which usually we don't use we end up using them for whatever the next um pre-releases but we've got both of those side by side so you can see they're pretty cool really like those it'll be quite good that me and sarah will actually have different sleeves in case we get paired up against each other for the next pre-release the one of the big things that they've changed with the release of scarlet and violet are the fact that you now get a promo card with these ETBs, which is awesome. Absolutely love that promo card. Screamtail is actually becoming quite a beast in uh, God of War decks as well. So it's pretty cool to have that. As is Iron Bundle. So that is the promo card from, I love, absolutely love the hollow patterns on these cards now. So that is the promo card from the Iron Valiant binder. Obviously we know it's a future Pokemon as well, which is pretty cool. 
and that is the promo from this binder from this binder from this ETB. <laughs> I'm already thinking about putting these in binders and, and getting the collection going um, this is the ancient Pokemon as I said it is actually quite playable at the moment but the big thing that we want to crack into are this absolute raft of booster packs so we're gonna crack into those and see if we can pull something decent so we're gonna have a quick look at the artwork here on the pack of where have we got one? There we have. I think there's four. I think there's four. Is there any more? One, two, three. Yeah, just the four artworks, standard four artworks, which are pretty cool. We've got Roaring Moon, we've got Garchomp, we have the Armor Rouge there, and then we have Iron Valiant. There's quite a f there are quite a few cards in this set that I want to get my hands on. One of the big cards for me personally is the Garchomp uh, Kato special illustration art. Um, if you know, if you're a fan of the channel, I am a massive fan of any form of Oswaldo Cato artwork. So hopefully we can pull that. And I do think that's probably my chase card. There is that Roaring Moon and the Iron Valiant special illustration. But for me, and I think that it all comes down to personal opinion, that Garchomp for me is my chase card. So hopefully at some point we'll be able to add that to the binder. But we've got Minim. We're going to take some time going through these because it's the first time, I believe, that we've actually opened, well, the pre-release sort of counts. It's the first time we've properly opened these. We've got an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, awesome. We'll put that over to one side. We've got Cyclozar, which I used in the pre-release. We've got Toxel, we've got Porygon, and we've got Palkia, and a Grass Energy, and your code card. If this is the first time that you've visited the channel, I always give the code cards away, so maybe, maybe that's, even if you don't like me, <laughs> that's a good enough reason to subscribe to the channel. So you can come back and grab those code cards because I do always, always give them away in the videos, unless we're doing TCG content, in which case I don't give them away because we don't do pack openings. Makes perfect sense, really. We've got Toxel, we've got Lipod, a Wimpod, we've got Elekid, Professor Turo scenario, again, another playable card there. Mind show, a Rika, a reverse hollow Milotic. This is the first time I've seen this with the lifeboat ability. Once during your turn, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. Each player puts a basic Pokemon from their discard pile onto their bench. Okay, pretty cool. We've got a Latios reverse hollow and a Volcanion. And another code card there. And we'll put those move Professor Turo scenario as well because that will go in a nice little. Uh, I've got a. Um, I think it's a build and battle stage. No, it's the. Oh, what is it? I can't remember what they're called. Trainer's toolkit with lots and lots of uh, useful cards just in case I want to switch things out when we go to our locals. Uh, we've got Load Red there, a Remoraid, a little Pumpkaboo, which just a standard Pumpkaboo there. We've got Medical Energy, which is an interesting one because. I'm not a massive fan, but it does seem like a card that would fit quite well in a, in a Lugia deck. So as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides one colourless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. So if you are attaching it with Archeops, obviously it's not going to do that 30, but it might get you out of some... Let's move those on, on screen. might get you out of some ruts if you're in a little bit of a mess with the Lugia deck. We've got Monior, a Gabite a Chiyu and an energy three packs in three packs in the uh, the usual ETV look is already kicking in and I thought I might have broken the streak with these ones but what this does mean if we have got some awesome pulls in here they're getting further and further down the pile so we can end the video on the high on a high he tells himself. He, he, the thing is, I know I'm lying to myself. <laughs> I've never had luck with ETBs. I don't know why I still buy them. The only thing I buy them for, I think, is the promo, the sleeves, and the uh, the damage counter dice. To be perfectly honest, there's a scream tail. Got a couple of those now, and another awesome card that a lot of people are clawing for at the moment because it supports the Rory Mooney X deck. So, Professor Sarda's Vitality. Choose up to two of your ancient Pokémon and attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. If you attach an energy in this way, draw three cards. So it is a draw engine, and it also powers up those Roaring Moons quite quickly. We've got a Reverse Hollow Knuckle Stack, a Reverse Hollow Professor Turo Scenario, and an Edgy Slash Hollow. 
Okay, tag card. We are. No, we're not halfway. Uh, yeah, we're half. We're fish. Well, halfway through this pack, we'll be halfway through. See how we can do maths on the channel. All of the maths I can do is down to Pokemon cards. Guarantee, it's nothing to do with education. <laughs> it's, it's all Pokemon cards. Not that I'm saying play Pokemon cards and don't go to school, because I would suggest go to school and be educated. We'll leave that where it is. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave. We'll leave that discussion where it is because. I don't want to say Pokemon cards are more important than the school. Norman, we've got a Dewblade, a Reverse Hollow Tandemate, and a Bombardier EX. Pretty cool. This is quite a decent card, to be honest, because we've got that Fast Carrier, which is an attack which sort of kills it a little bit. But Fast Carrier, if you go first, you can use this attack during your first turn. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon and put them on your bench. So if you've got absolutely trash bench setup, you can go in with the Bombardier and get your bench set up which is pretty cool because it obviously vip pass will be rotating out probably soon april next year 2020 2024 um so that i imagine we'll probably see we're gonna have a look at that actually we're gonna might see a little bit more play because it is 200 so it's not one of the week 170 160 pokemon it's not great but it is a basic so you can slap a uh, bravery charm on there and get that up to 250 and then it is doing Shadowy Wind, which you may put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. So it has its own way of getting out of the uh, out of your bench as well, which is pretty cool. It's effectively got its own scoop up net ability and a 130 attack, which is I like, I really like. And you can then attach that Bravery Charm to something else. I'm slowly getting myself to like this Pokemon even more. <laughs> got Panpour, Bone Sweet, we've got a Minior. A Crocolore, lots of laws there. A Tulip, which is a pretty cool card. A Reverse Hollow Countercatcher, pretty cool. A lot of people playing that. Oh, absolutely awesome. Little Magby artwork there. I really like that. It's actually quite a cool card as well, to be honest, because we've got that Scorching Heater attack, which is an attack, but during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, put six, six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So I do quite like that. I think that's a cool card. And I really, really like the artwork. I always liked Magby, Magmore, Magma and uh, Magmorta. So that's decent having the collection. And it's a card that we haven't got. And as you know, we do try to fill the binder out as quickly as we can. So to be able to add that to the binder as quickly as we can is great. We really like that. We can add that to the binder straight away. As soon as we get it, because we are waiting for the special edition, um, Volta X. Paradox Rift Binder, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'll stick a picture of that on the screen. It is a really cool binder, to be fair. And we do always try to get those. We couldn't get Obsidian Flames, unfortunately. So at the moment, we've got one, two, and then we'll have four. Um, and there isn't one for 151, but there is a decent, um, I think it's called Just Pink Binder that they do, um, which is effectively like a big pink binder, which looks a little bit like a Mew. Type color. Another counter catcher there, which we're happy with. A char cadet, a reverse hollow tinkerton, which has got a lovely little uh, crimp across the top there. I don't know if you can see that. Try and get that on the camera. No, focus. There we go. See the little crimp across the top there. And iron jugglers, which is pretty cool actually. Homing headbutt. This attack does 50 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon that have damage counters on them. Hmm. Okay, is that getting much play? I'm not entirely sure. I don't, it probably is. Quite like that. And then Baryon Beam for five energy. That's that's a bit beastly. If this Pokemon has a future energy capsule attached, this attack may be used for three. Okay, so you can get that set up for home in Headbutt. Attach an energy boost capsule and then hit for 150 next turn. Pretty cool. Quite like that card. Obviously, with the addition of Luxurious Cape as well, I think that would put the would that put that up to 230 HP, which is I'm talking V um, HP there. So pretty cool. We got Pansir, we've got Nickit, a Gligar, a Blitbug, a Crocolore, got an Ambipom. A Snorlax doll, which is an awesome card. Really like this card as well. Um, 
So if this card is in your hand when you are setting up play, so similar to the Luxray that we had a few, what set was that from? Was that from Silver Tempest? I can't remember. Um, you may put it face down in the active spot or on your bench, like it, as if it was a 120 HP basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, you may discard this card from play. This card can't be affected by any special conditions. I wonder, although this is an item card, it does say as if it was a 120 HP basic Pokemon. Can this have tools attached to it? Let me know in the comments if that's something you know. I'm not entirely sure on the rules with that. Can that have tools added to it? We've got Curse Duster, which to me looks more like a Lorcana card than a Pokemon card. I will be perfectly honest. That artwork looks like it's something from Disney. And then we've got Steelix as the holo, as the rare there. And we have done absolutely, as you would expect, trash from this ETB. What have we got so far? Have we got, I think we had two hits. Two hits from eight packs. Let's have a look. I can't even find them. We had the Magby. I suppose you could count counter catches and stuff like that as hits, but I don't. Uh, Bombardier. And. No, I think that was it. Oh, that is. That's rough. Even for me, that's rough. Two, two hits. Two hits from eight packs. That is rough. That, let's be honest, that is really rough. But we have. Got one pack left. So it's not. It's not all over because what we're going to pull in this, I think it comes in the second to no, it comes in the yes, yeah, comes in the second to last reverse hollow slot. Those special illustration arts. So we are going to pull a Roaring Moon X in the last slot as that ultra rare, and then we're also going to pull the Iron Valiant special illustration. We can all do it. <laughs> we can all do it. Fry Coco. A Hone Edge, a Dweeble, Horsey, a Tinkerton, a Durant. Oh, I haven't seen this card. Swarming Rage. This attack does 20 damage for each damage counter on all of your Durant. Oh, are they back? We've got Durants coming back. And Hard Scissors. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. We have an Earthen Vessel, which again is getting a lot of play because of Roaring Moon. So it allows you to discard a card from your hand. Um, sorry, search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. You can only use this card if you discard another card from your hand. Pretty decent. And then we have a reverse hollow snow runt and here it comes. Okay, pretty cool. I'm not gonna complain at that. A illustration art garganical with the Energizing Rock Salt ability. Once during your turn, you attach a basic fighting energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. If you attach energy to your Pokemon in this way, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. That is pretty cool artwork as well, to be fair. It's not the card we wanted, but... Finish with a Zekrom. Oh. You know what? That Zekrom didn't, doesn't exist. We've, we finished with the, uh, with the Garganical because I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna cry. I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> I even forgot to give that away. <laughs> I forgot that last code card because I was uh, broken a little bit inside. But we are gonna do a quick recap. But the fact that we have two, four, six, eight, eight standard hollows there should go to show that we didn't do particularly well if you're just tuning in for the last part of the video we didn't do well at all did not do well at all the only card that we pulled that wasn't a hollow in the hollow slot was that bombardier ex yeah standard poker tubs etb look which is uh which is always a good laugh for for a lot of people and uh not for me not for me at all because it makes me cry a little bit inside because I just want to fill the binder. But we're not going to be completely negative because we needed. I think we actually needed all five of those. We, we've got those. 
Obviously, that's a double at this point. But we did actually need those hollows. And we can add those to the binder, which is fantastic. So it does fill out some of those hollow slots, which means that the only thing we need to do now are fill in some of the uh, fill, in, fill in some of the ultra rares. And I always try and collect all of the uh, reverse hollows as well. And we've got some cool reverse hollows as well, which will help. We've got the counter catcher, which I do think people are going to go mad for. And Turo's scenario. So pretty cool. I'm not going to complain. We're always going to look for positives because that's what we try to do on the channel. But we did get three of those there and they are those are both illustration rares and that is just an ultra rare uh is it called an ultra rare i can never remember what they're called now but we've got basically two a gold star on each of those and two black stars on there and i do quite like both of these cards i'm not gonna lie the magby is awesome really like the magby artwork there a little chilling in the lava pool and then i really really like the garganical this reminds me of the, I don't know if it is, but the the Altaria uh, alt art with it flying across the card along here, and then we have got some swablus around and stuff like that. It seems like that's that's happening over here somewhere, and then in the cave we've got Garganical with those swablus enjoying themselves in the cave. So it's pretty cool. Again, for me, any card we can add to the binder keeps me happy, keeps me really happy. So it's not all negative. ETB look on this channel is absolutely abysmal, but we come here to have fun, we come here to open Pokemon packs and add whatever cards we can to the binder. If you like the video, remember to hit that thumbs up because we will be moving all of these cards from our standard Voltex strap binder over to the brand new Paradox Rift limited edition Voltex binder, which I am absolutely looking forward to getting my hands on. I cannot wait for that to be released. And if you want to keep your collection safe, you can get 10% off with the code POKERTUBS on the Voltex website if you're a UK customer. If you're a US customer, go over to their Amazon site and you can use the code to get 10% off on there as well. If you do like the content we put on the channel, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that every single time one of these videos goes live, you'll be notified of it. You can jump on on release day of the video, grab those code cards. And until then, thanks for all the support and see you next time.